It's a rule that whatever water you cannot drink, you should not serve to these birds. So if you have a layer farm and you want to achieve the highest possible production, you must be able to provide your birds with clean water. And this is one way to do it. Uh, you see inside these pipes, that's where the water passes. And over time, because of the medications that we use, the antibiotics, the multivitamins, you see a lot of biofilm build up inside here. Is this sludge-like material that comes out very thick, like mucus, when you're able to get it out. And sometimes it even blocks the nipple drinkers. A lot of people don't notice until they start to see mortality and you know, they now notice that this uh, nipple is blocked and it's because of that biofilm, it's that sludge-like material. So instead of losing birds, you know, one layer chicken now will cost about 8,000 naira or thereabout. And in production, it's even, we estimate it to be more than that. So you don't want to lose your birds. Instead of losing two of them, before you notice that you want to change this less than 500 naira stuff. So it's better that you always clean your water line with this. So you remove that sludge. Apart from blocking the nipple, it also causes infection because Pathogens are able to hold tight onto that biofilm and before you know it, they start to die and you use antibiotics thinking that's what will cure it and after that antibiotics, after a while again, the build up is back again. So it's a continuous process and it keeps eating into your profit. So what we need to do now, uh, and I see that a lot of people have been asking how do they use this. So I'm trying to use this pen now, where we are not using it yet, but we, are, we want to start using it. So it's going to be a similar case to yours. So you can see this elbow here. Okay, let me bring the camera close. So you see this elbow here, we have three of it. We have this one, we have this one, and the one there. So I'm focusing on, on this because of the uh, point of view. So what you do here, one easy way to do it, there are actually a few attachments that you can add, but this is one way to solve it so you get a t you get a t this is a t so if the plot pipe that supplies this one is also a three quarter usually for poultry we use three quarter pipes so if the pipe that supplies this is also a three quarter that means you'll be using a t that is full three quarter on the three ends but if this one is one inch to three quarter then your T would have to be one inch here, then three quarter on these ends. So you're going to position the T like this. So you have to remove this elbow. If you want to use this material now, this tool, you put the T here, you remove this elbow, you attach it. Once this T stays here, then you now introduce this air valve. So it's like this, the T stays here, then the air valve comes like this. You have to use the gum to fix it, PVC gum. So this one will be locked whenever you are not cleaning. So the water is still going as it should go from the tank, it's supplied directly. It's locked here, so it's like there's an outlet here, but you are locking it. So whenever you want to clean, you then open this part. You have to lock the main source of water so that you know, your water is not wasting here. So you open this part, then you pass in this through to the end, you no, know, it's a metal something, so it will go to the end, no matter the length of your cage, it will get to the end. So you pass it in like this, it keeps going inside the pipe until it gets to the end over there. So when it gets to the end over there, that's where you now fix this brush on the other part of the cage now. So you have something like this on that other hand too. So you now fix this brush from the other hand there. Make sure you screw it in very well so that he doesn't remove halfway inside the pipe that's going to be a problem for you so tighten it very well so let's assume this is the other end of the cage this is here where you are controlling the whole thing so once this thing is opened fully and you have attached the brush so you start to pull out. As you're pulling out, it's bringing all the biofilm, the sludge-like material, that mucus-like thing, it's bringing it out. And you continue to pull, you see a whole lot of messy stuff will come out. In some cases, you can pass it through the pipe twice. And after that, you just flush the pipe and you see the rest of it, of the particles will get out easily. So this thing is, it 
it's actually tight inside this thing so it touches the wall of the pipe so it kind of scrubs the pipe and removes that biosin so once you pull it out completely you see this is how it's going to come out and voila everything is clean so then you lock this thing back you run the water through open the other hand let the water flush whatever is left out of it once you have done that you have a clean pipe you see with this thing you won't be lazy to do it you know it's not it's not a tedious stuff you just open this put in run this through and it can go this is a hundred meter uh length stuff so we have a 5000 capacity kg on one line we have i think 22 units so through these 22 units it will go through and you see if i even have left you have more of it left so 100 meters this is not up to 100 meters this is about 40 something meters if i if i'm correct yeah i think it's about 40 something meters so you run this through and you're fine it's going to be very easy so you can just come in in the morning and do it less than 30 minutes you are done with this line of the cage it's it's really easy to do so i advise you to start using something like this if you want to provide clean water to your birds it's a rule that whatever water you cannot drink you should not serve to these birds so if you are able to serve them clean water then you get better production so we are going to adjust this very quickly I'm going to remove the elbow, put in the T, attach the pipe to the air valve and like this. So constantly this will remain locked. But whenever you want to clean, it will be opened. Always remember to put in this line without the brush first. Otherwise you won't be able to push it through. So you do it without the brush first. Then you open the other hand too. From that other hand, you screw in the brush and you start to pull out it's during the pulling out that you actually do the main cleaning job so it's that easy so let's do a test of the length it's quite easy to get it out so we are already at the end of the cage and we still have a lot more so as you can see, this line is already at the end of the cage over there. It's all the way down. I don't know if you can see clearly. I will still have a whole lot of it here. So this is the 100 meters line that you can get and it solves the problem. Even if you have 10,000 birds inside here, you know, it's two rows of the cage that we have. This is one and that's one on the other hand there. If you have tried this length, that will be about 90 meters or thereabout, and it will still serve. Very easy to work with, it's easy to pull it back in. You just roll it back 